Hi, we're going to do a photo restoration on some of the pictures. Click on this and hit open in a new window. And then download. Then we're going to go to Pixlr, so I'll close out of there. And your Pixlr link is in the activity, so I'm going to hit the back button. And I have Pixlr Editor there. And we'll say open an image from our computer. It went into the downloads most likely, but you'll have to look to see where yours went, but it usually goes to the download. And double click on it. Okay, first of all, this is sideways, so we're going to go image, rotate canvas. And I just hit the green button so it's full screen so I can crop it better. You need to draw the rectangle around it. Try not to get the white border on there. We'll just crop that out. And you'll say image, crop. And then it crops it. And then you'll want to adjust the brightness and contrast. So remember, the purpose of this, I know some of you guys are making it look silly, but the purpose of this is to make the picture look better for a family photo album. So in years to come, a relative will want to look at it. So I did my brightness and the contrast. Notice there are a couple little um, imperfections. This little tear right here, there's a little dot right there and a little dot right there. So. I'm going to come over here to the Band-Aid, and I'm going to click on the Band-Aid. The smaller the tool, the less funny your adjustment's going to look. So I'm going to click, click. Okay, so it just kind of, that just kind of blends in right there. The bigger that you do the tool, the more obvious the adjustments going to be like let's see if I do here it might look funny on some on this one it actually looked okay and then I want to get that little dot right there on the nose so I'm going to change that brush size back down to something just tiny and I'll click and really that's all you need to do and then you're going to go file save and then I would call it something like Miss Colhane Edited so that you know that you edited that file. And you can change the quality to 100%. And it's in a JPEG format. JPEG is for pictures. You can click OK. It's going to your downloads and say save. And then you would upload that into your Weebly website under your photo editing site. Okay, now go ahead and do the other ones and you should be just fine.